Welcome to another video. What's up YouTube? Got a very interesting topic today I want to talk about. Why losing fat won't make you happy. Not lose body fat? Are you crazy? It's the end of March. Summer will be approaching soon. Everyone's in that mindset. Oh, I gotta get ready for the summer and shit, you know. And everyone's trying to lose fat. They're on the treadmill doing their different things, starting their diets. But I want to talk about why that might not be the best thing for you to do this summer. And why it may not make you happy at all if you are in the best shape of your life this summer. Find out why right now. Alright YouTube, welcome back. So let's get to this topic, but before I go there, let me explain who I am and what I do. What the hell are you? Alright, I've been doing personal training and nutrition coaching for the last 11 years. So I had a lot of real world insight on what people actually experience and what they go through when they lose body fat. Now maybe your goal for this upcoming summer is to get absolutely shredded, right? You really want to get down to a low level of body fat, you feel really uncomfortable with yourself, that's fine, I completely get that. But what I want you to understand is that if you think that doing so is going to be the only way that you feel happy, you're probably wrong. You're probably very wrong about it. Now I want you to understand, I'm not saying at all that losing body fat won't make you happy. I'm saying that most people are very unhappy for other reasons and then they think that it's because they have body fat on them, they lose the body fat, and then eventually they realize that that's not actually what was making them unhappy. Now for me personally, the last seven years in a row, I've gotten shredded. I mean completely shredded. Let me show you some pictures right here, right? Here's some pictures I'm showing you on the screen. I haven't quite decided which ones I'm showing you yet, but I'm going to talk over it anyway. You see these pictures, right? I'm shredded to the bone. I'm probably 160 to 165 pounds here at 6 foot, rocking about 4% body fat. My abs are exploding. I have veins going throughout my entire body, and I've done this for the last seven years in a row. Now, the very first year I ever got shredded, um, I would say that it was quite an experience. I just broke up with a, a girlfriend. It was a long, hard relationship, and I wanted to do something for myself. So I took 14 weeks out. I got completely shredded down. I felt incredible, but that messed me up a little bit, and I'll be honest with you. After I did those uh, weeks of dieting and getting down to that low level of body fat, I didn't want to get away from that low level of body fat. I felt like I could only be happy at that low level of body fat. The minute I started thinking about increasing my calories and reverse dieting, I didn't want to get away from that low body fat that I was at. So I continued to maintain that body fat for months at a time, and it actually really affected my performance in the gym. Not only that, but it affected my mood. I wasn't as happy, and I really only felt like I could be happy if I stayed in that low body fat percentage. I felt like I couldn't add any more body fat on, or I would really start feeling shitty about myself. And eventually I got over that, I started, started to bulk again, but the bulk wasn't as crazy as it usually was. I wouldn't bring my calories up too high because I knew I would start adding on too much adipose tissue. I would start getting upset, right? Now, let's be honest here. Who fucking cares? Who honestly gives a shit if you're 4% body fat or 12% body fat? And let me just show you a picture from last summer. Boom. That's me last summer, right? 164 pounds, shredded to the bone. But I can tell you right now, <clears throat> in my fatter state, I'm much happier. Mentally much happier too. And you want to know why? How you look in the mirror, it doesn't really bring you true happiness. What's going to bring you happiness is what's going on in here. There are a hell of a lot of things out there in life that'll cause you to be unhappy. You could be in a bad relationship, you could have bills piling up, you might want to move out of your house but you can't quite get a job. I mean, there are a million things that can make you unhappy. You just could be stressed out beyond belief and uh, then maybe at the same time you've been accumulating body fat over the years because you've been eating out of, uh, out of control, maybe you haven't been going to the gym as often as you like to, and you think that the way to fix the, happy, the unhappiness in your life is to get back in the gym. And uh, that's a good start, but you need to start fixing the other things in your life. You can't just do the one thing. You can't just go, oh, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to get on this diet, I'm going to do this for the summer, and I'm going to look the best I've ever looked, and I'm going to be happy. That's the wrong way to go about it. That's exactly what most people do, but they don't fix the 50 other things that are making them unhappy in their life. They're still working at the same shitty job. They're still in the same shitty relationship. They're driving the same shitty car that makes them unhappy, that breaks down on the side of the road. Another big problem I see is how people don't ease themselves into, into these new situations, right? They decide they're going to start going into the gym. They're going to start this new diet plan, and they go crazy. They go to the gym seven days a week, 
And those are the people that usually last a week or two and then they're out of there because they can't keep up with it. Start off slow. Start making slow changes. It's about making slow incremental changes just like it would be if you were doing progressive overload in your training, right? You don't just go in the gym every single day and put up 225 on bench, the next day you put up 315, the next day you put up 405. No, that shit happens over the course of 10 years. Another problem is how people don't ease themselves into these things. They decide that they want to get shredded for the summer, they decide that they want to start a new diet, and they go crazy. They start going to the gym seven times a week, they start eating this new diet when it's nothing like their old diet, and the problem is you're doing too many things at once and you're going too fast too soon. So how about instead of going to the gym seven days a week, you start going two or three times a week? How about instead of changing your entire diet, you start making slow changes and eventually you start tracking your macros and things like that. You don't need to go right into tracking your macros the first week of starting something. Honestly, for me, the most annoying shit in the world is hearing someone who has a goal and they want to change their life and they're stressed out and they want to find happiness and they don't do a damn thing about it. Month after month, year after year, they tell me the same shit. They tell me that they, they have these goals and they don't do any of it. Maybe they'll do it for weeks. That's it. Then they give up. And then they're back to square one. But maybe square one is now a step back. Maybe they went even further back now. Whether that be body fat, whether that be uh, finding a job, whether it be anything in life, whatever it is that you were trying to do. How the fuck are you living your life like that? You have one life. I don't care what religion you follow and you think you got an afterlife, you have one life here, right? You got one life on this earth, that's it. You might live to 70, you might live to 40, you might live to tomorrow, I don't know. But you have one life. Don't you wanna be happy? Why the hell would you not do anything about that? Why would you not chase happiness? A lot of people will say that materialistic things won't make you happy, and I don't actually agree with that. I think that if you are happy and you work hard and you buy something that you really wanted to have, it could add to your happiness, absolutely. Um, if you're a miserable fuck to begin with, and then you think buying something will make you happy, that's where they're right, that materialistic things are not gonna make you happy. I'll give you a perfect example. Um, my entire life I've always loved cars, right? My very first car I ever bought was a 1973 Dodge Charger. Me and my dad restored it, we put new floors in the thing. I loved it, sold it, right? Got a Chevy C10. Uh, it was a 1971 C10 with a small block 350, a lot of fun to drive. Then I got uh, two 300ZX twin turbos. One of them was a twin turbo, one was a naturally aspirated car. I always loved cars, I always liked driving fast, right? And now I sold all that, I bought myself a house. I bought my, my house eight years ago, and I bought a Lotus two years ago, right? A lot of people say, why the hell did you buy a, a Lotus, Mike? Why did, you, why did you do that? Were you trying to impress people? No, I always wanted a Lotus. I remember being a little kid, driving down Nichols Road on Long Island with my dad, and I remember seeing a green Lotus drive past me, and I remember just looking at this thing like, wow, what the hell was that? That thing is crazy, right? I've always loved that car, and driving that car makes me happy. Um, if I get in it, and I'm a miserable bastard, does driving it make me happy? I mean, maybe it'll make me happy for that time, but the minute I get out of it, I'm still a miserable bastard. I mean, I'm a happy person. I'm a very positive person, I always try to think positively, and I break my ass for everything that I have. So yeah, working hard and earning something like that would make you happy, it would add to your happiness. Um, another thing I just bought, a hot tub. I've always wanted a hot tub. I remember being a little kid going upstate in the snow, going in hot tubs with my family. Absolutely awesome, right? I always wanted a hot tub. I just bought one last week. It is added to my happiness. I assure you the hot tub is added to my happiness. I'm like a little kid, I want to go in it nonstop. Okay? So yeah, materialistic things can make you happy, but you need to be happy before you go and buy them. And you need to be appreciative of them. Um, if things are handed to you your entire life, you might not be a, as appreciative as earning something because things are usually just handed to you. So if you work hard and you earn these things, yeah, they're gonna be much more, much more gratifying to you. Now at the same time, you might be making these decisions to get healthier, start losing body fat, like I said, you need to start thinking about the other things in life that are causing you to be unhappy. What's stressing you out? What things do you need to change? Slowly, at the same time, start making those changes. Maybe you want a new job. Start putting some applications in. Don't just sit on fucking Facebook, on Twitter, sitting there fucking doing Snapchats all day when you're trying to find a new job and find happiness but you're sitting there with your damn phone in your hand all goddamn day. So regardless of who you are and who's watching this video, 
If you think that there are things in life that are stressing you out, if you think that losing body fat is going to make you happy, um, regardless of who you are, I want you to really take a step back. I want you to think about things that are stressing you out. Think about things that you want to accomplish. Write them down. Write down things, write down what you want to accomplish. Write down things that are preventing you from accomplishing them. And then start working towards breaking through those obstacles. Uh, what are those obstacles that, that, are, that are preventing you from getting to where you want to go? Start figuring out ways to break them down, right? Pretend like it's a fucking video game. Your life's a video game. Figure it out. It's a puzzle, right? This is what we have to do, okay? You want to be happy? Like I said, maybe losing that body fat is not the way to go. Maybe you need to work on other things first, or maybe you do need to work on a little bit of everything at the same time. But ease yourself into it. Don't go gun ho into the gym when you haven't been there in a year. Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe, share, like, comment below. Any questions you have, I'd be happy to hear them. Shoot them down below. Greatly appreciate it. Peace, guys. Ow. Ow! No abs. Woo, just fat. You thought you didn't go. That thought you didn't go. See? What happened? Got a call. It's very bad, Father. It's good that you didn't go. Thank God you didn't go. Today was just—it was just not meant to be, Deb. That's what I said. You, you, you just can't go like that. You know what I mean? The nice boat there, Tom. I just. Uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Is <laughs> it is so funny. It's just like it's just like oh, that's drooling. Nice. Yes, that's really nice. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit.